everybody, happy stampers. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a notepad case. And I love this thing because I can put it in my purse and everything is protected. I can write down my list for the day. And I have had, actually had so many people say they like them that I thought I would do a video to show you guys how to make them today. So let's start with the case is actually a case, um, a stamp case from Stampin' Up. And you can buy these cases actually um, from your demonstrator or from my website as well, which I'll have up on the blog. And then I use, started with um, some typeset DSP. And the DSP is cut at 10.5 by 7 and 1 8. And the nice thing about this DSP is it fits in. slides right in. No glue, no mess. So it's really easy. So, but we're going to put that aside because I'm going to show you um, how I decorated it and the different product that you can use. Right now with Celebration going on, we have the Lotus Blossom Stamping Up stamp set which is huge. Everyone loves this. And it's a three-part stamp set. It's fun. Um, and I used it. I stamped it with Perfect Plum and Old Olive. Just for a nice, subtle, classic look. With over very vanilla. Which is actually cut at... Let me see. Um, three and four and a half. Three by four and a half. And then I would... Layer those with elegant eggplant and basic black. So using my 2A glue, I'm going to layer those on. And the elegant eggplant is actually cut at 3 and 1 fourth by 4 and 3 fourths. And the basic black is cut at 3 and a half by 5. Just gives you a nice little finishing touch by layering it. And this two-way glue works awesome. This is stamping up two-way glue. Lay that on there very nicely. And then I took some rhinestones. I have to find them. Where did, oh, they're right here. Uh, actually, on um, mine, but on this one, I wanted to use the candy dots. And I thought I would use the black candy dots just to kind of incorporate that black off the typeset. Just do three little basic black depths. I'm going to use my little Cricut tool. It always helps me line it up a little nicer. So, once that done is done, it's pretty quick and actually pretty simple. And then you can take your typeset and I actually am going to place this in here just so I can see where the center of my paper is. And I'm going to use red, um, I call it red tape, it's actually called something else and I couldn't tell you the name off the top of my tongue. But anytime I'm using something I really want to stay on there. I use the red tape. I'm gonna peel 
peel that off. Place it right in the middle. Oh, it's not broke. So cute. And then I used using my Colinol Hero stamp set. I actually took the letters and I put out notes, typed or um, spelled out notes, and then took my elegant eggplant and my very vanilla, along with my scallop oval punch and my scallop one and three fourths by seven eighth punch. I made this little note label. So I can put that on top of my nope. And the front is done. Now this typeset paper DSP is a little bit less, a little bit more fragile than our normal DSP, so you do have to be a little careful with it. Um, it's almost like the feeling of newsprint, so but I really like it because it adds so much to the paper or to the flower and. And that can just close like this. Now we have the inside, which is um, where we come in with our notepad. And I actually got these notepads at Target. And unfortunately, I had to cut them down a little bit. Um, they're the right size to fit inside um, width-wise, but height-wise, they're about an inch and a half too big so I just went through and marked as you can possibly see here and then used it in my um, big cutter or you could go to uh, an office supply store and they would cut them down for you but they're really cheap you can get like five for like two bucks so and then um, with my TSP you cut this at five and one and a half and it fits perfectly over the top of it, kind of give it a little pizzazz. Um, and I'm actually going to use my red tape because I'm afraid my two-way glue will be too light on it. Plus, I want it to stay. So it's score tape. That's what it's called, not red tape, but I call it red tape. And then I'll just put this on the back as well. I think I might have got off camera a little bit, but excuse me, I'm going to try to get back in there. Just place that over the top. your red off again. And then you can trim it a little bit. However you want. See how nice that fits in there? that you can either put like maybe receipts in or if you like little notes that you tear off here they want to put in here or maybe your coupons this is great for grocery shopping because you can have your list and you're all set sorry I'm looking for one of my punches 
I have a scallop border punch on this. And now this is um, basic black cut at 10 by 4 inches. And then I just scored it at the 5 mark to um, make a little pocket. I um that'd be kind of cool to fold it over, and then you have like a little scallop envelope. And then take your two-way glue, probably helps if you score it, but um, I'm just kind of being lazy real quick. Actually, it's more to be fast than lazy, but I'm putting a two egg on. Your fast fuse glue would work really well with this, too, or probably not so much your tumble. So you can meet your edges up. Actually, gonna put um, Blackberry Bliss ribbon on here. Just actually gonna help with it. Unfortunately. Core tape is bigger than my Blackberry Bliss, so I have to trim that up a little bit, but... This is my first video, so I'm very nervous. So please bear with me. <laughs> I hope to do a lot more videos, but... Something I've been wanting to do, and... Thanks to my hubby, he helped me set it up, and here we are. So I'll take our purple. See if I can get this. It's being kind of stubborn. Sorry about that. It took longer than I thought it would. And just lay that down. And that'll actually help keep your pocket down a little bit. And using your score tape, or you could use glue dots even for this. Um, you're going to make a little loop with your leftover Blackberry Bliss. I'm just going to lay this actually. I just make sure I'm doing it or I did it the wrong side. When making some of them, I realized I needed to always check what side I was putting the pen on. I put it on a few times wrong. You can always check also, um, take a pen, you can check to see if it's going to be big enough. So, and I found these really cute pens at Target, it's my Target ad for today. Um, two for a dollar, I just thought they were super cute. But then I was at Walmart today and found 
and just regular big pens that were like 20 for four bucks. I was like, well, those will work too. So, but who doesn't like a cute pen? Let's put your score tape on there. And I will have all the product that I used on this also on my website so you can see um, with celebration going on right now, if you bought everything I just used, you'd spend $50 and you would get free product, which is always awesome. And then you put your pen in there and you are done. All that. So... Thank you for joining me today, and I hope that you make tons of these. They're great um, teacher's gifts, um, friend gifts, or even uh, stocking stuffers for your family. And um, I've also seen this done in Christmassy, so people can put their Christmas list in it, and they can, when they're Christmas shopping, they can have their to-do list. So, thank you. Have a good day.